Hi, I'm Kurt. I'm going to be showing you how to make file folders today with the Template Studio. The file folder template guides come in two different styles of tabs. There's a standard side tab, which you can see here on the packaging. There's also a more rounded tab, which is file folder B, which you can see here. And we're going to be using this one today. The your file folder guides come with a set of recipe cards that have all the instructions and sizes you need. All of the different sizes are shown over here, and as well as a st set of step-by-step -step instructions, which I will be going through with you. Using standard size poster board, which you can find at your local grocery store or with We Are Memory Keepers, we have a whole line of designer poster board and glitter po poster board. You can make file folders for standard sizes from 12 by 12 down to 6 by 6. Today I will be doing ones here for your, a set of file folders for your 12 by 12 scrapbook pages. To get started, I need to cut my paper down to 13 by 26 and a half. We do that by using our straight template guides which come with your starter kit. You connect B and C together to do your horizontal cuts and the arrows align with where you're going to be cutting. So to cut down, the first thing I need to cut down is to 13. So I align the arrows at 13, just snap them into place on the board and then I use my gray cutting blade and I cut along. I find it helps to hold the template guide in place so that it doesn't wiggle on you. And I messed up a little bit right there, so we're just going to make sure that we cut all the way through. All right. And then we're going to cut down our next one using B and A and B together. Connect those together. And then it says on here we're cutting down to 26 and a half. Snap that in at 26 and a half. And cut. And then we are going to connect our B guide to file folder B, connect those together, and then using our instruction guide, set of instructions, we're going to see that we align it to 1. So I connect the little arrows in 1. And then it's important to look on here, unlike other guides, a lot of guides that we have for the template studio line down at the left corner at zero. This one's not the case. We have it lining up at different places to make sure that your tabs are in the right place. So you're going to look here for where the paper alignment is. So the paper alignment left is at one and a half, which is here underneath the guide. And then I'm going to be lining it at 22, which is down here at the bottom. Then using my gray blade, I'm going to come in here and cut along. Now I'm ready to move my guide to the next one, which is on here, listed at 26. Snap that into place. And then we are going to cut along here, just like that. And now we are ready to score. In the scoring, if, to do the scoring, you connect your A and B guides together again and align them at 14. And then to make sure that you're scoring this in the right place, we have it listed here that you're going to align your paper at 1 and 3 quarters. So I come up here, align it at one and three quarters, and then using my scoring blade, which is the blue one, I'm going to score right down here down the middle, and then you can fold it. And then you can see it's a nice, you got a nice fold here and a nice little area that you can write. So that is the side tab. Now I'm going to show you the middle tab. It works just the same, but it's a you just align the paper slightly different. So again, connecting your file folder B together. I already have a piece of paper cut down to the size that I need. This time, the paper is what's going to align up differently. The paper on this one, instead of aligning at 1 and 1 and 22 like we did before, the paper is going to align at 0, so over on the edge, and then up to 21. And then my template guide still is in the same place at 1. 
And now I'm gonna cut on the left-hand side. So you can see here I've got a middle tab. And then I'm moving this down to 26 again. And you'll see that the edge of the paper lines up in the, underneath it there. Okay. And now I'm going to connect this back together again. I'm aligning this A and B together at 14. And I'm going to align my paper up to where it says a al paper alignment for this one again is one and three quarters. Aligning that up there, making sure it's straight. And I score it. And then I'm ready to fold. So you can see that's one of the middle tabs. I dropped my other one here on the floor. But you can see here we've got a nice set of tabs. We got a side tab and a middle tab. Repeat this again and you get a second one. Just fold it the other way around and you'll have it. And there you go. That's a set of 12 by 12 file folders. This is just one of the many things you can make using the Template Studio. Be sure to check out our other instructional videos.